Hi, awesome admins. Are you looking for ways to boost your customer service rep's productivity? Often, when your CSRs are supporting your customers, they're completing repetitive tasks in Salesforce. Macros are a way to eliminate some of that repetition. They're a productivity tool that can help you support your service reps while they support your customers. Let's learn how to create one together. Welcome to Sunshine Chocolates. We want to create a macro today for our customer service reps. First, let's confirm that we have macros available in Service Council. From Setup, find App Manager and locate Service Council. Select Edit using the drop down arrow, and it'll take you to the app settings. On the left hand side, locate Utility Items. We have macros already enabled in our org, but if you needed to add them, you would just use the Add Items button and select Macros. All right, let's go create a macro. From the bottom left of your screen, you have the Utility Bar, which is where you access macros for creating and using. To create, select the plus button and start creating your macro. We want to create a macro that logs calls and creates a follow-up task about packaging issues for our Sunshine Chocolates customer service reps. So I'll give it a name and a brief description. And lastly, I will assign it to a specific object. For today, we'll use cases, but you can also add macros to other objects. Select Save. And now you'll need to edit instructions. The builder screen is where you tell the macro what you needed to do. We need to log a call and create a follow-up task for our CSRs in this macro. First, we'll log the call to indicate that our CSR left a voicemail about packaging for the customer. I'll complete a subject and add detail in the comments. Lastly, I'll select Save. Please note that this action can't be undone. Someone with delete permissions would need to delete the task if it was created in error. Our CSRs normally follow up three days after this initial call. Our follow-up task will need to be scheduled for three days after. I provide detail in the subject line so that the CSR understands what they need to do when they see this in their task list. And because we need to have this follow-up done in three days, we'll select three days from today. Lastly, we'll add save, just like we did with the previous task. Now we've created our two-step macro, we'll select save, and go back to one of our cases to try it out. From the bottom left of your record, select macro. Instead of creating one, we're going to run one. Let's pick the one that we just built. Run macro. And behind the scenes, you'll get to see the macro log the call, as well as create the follow-up task. Once it's done, you'll be able to review the completed actions and scheduled actions in the feed. We've just created a macro that will save Sunshine Chocolates customer service reps a little bit of time so they can focus on providing excellent customer service to our customers. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on how to create a macro. Now that you've created your first macro, I'm sure you have some ideas on how you can implement them within your org to help support your customer service reps productivity, which will help them focus on what matters most to your company, your customers. Thank you.